Hello fellow Potterheads and welcome back to another unboxing video on my channel. As you can see, today's package is the Flying Parcel from Gobstone Alley and I am so, so excited for this box. This is my first time getting Gobstone Alley but I was um, looking at some other channels and some unboxings that they had and I saw this one and I got just crazy pumped to get this because these boxes are so jam-packed full of stuff. You get so much worth for your dollar or your euro, I guess, technically, because these parcels come from Poland, which I'm Polish, so that's really exciting to get them. So they do take a little bit of time to ship to the America, um, but I don't care. It's super excited. This box is so cute. It actually comes in a bigger kind of like just a basic brown box with Gobstone Alley tape around it. Um, and then the actual flying parcel box inside of it um, doesn't have any tape. There's no stickers on here. Like I can totally just open it. Um, the box is designed really cool. We got the Muggle Worthy um, latch from Fantastic Beasts on here. There's the Hogwarts emblem on both of these sides. We've got Owl Post, Platform Nine and Three Quarters, Hogwarts Express, a little bit of Hogsmeade, and then of course. Gobstone Alley's logo on the other side of it. I don't know if there's anything on the bottom. I don't want to tip it in case. Okay, there's nothing on the bottom, but these boxes are really big. They're pretty heavy, um, but like I said, they come in plain brown boxes ahead of time, so that way you don't have to like cut into them if you want to save these. Um, I like to save my Loot Crate boxes because they flip inside out. Um, I don't think, I don't know if these do. I'll have to check, but again, this is the first time I'm getting this. Um, I haven't seen any of the spoilers. I'm super excited about that. I'm not sure if these crates are themed. I feel like maybe they are, and I just didn't know. But again, this is my first time buying it. But you'll see when we open this. These things are jam-packed full of stuff. You really, really get your money's worth from these boxes. So I'm just like super duper, duper, duper pumped to open it. So, I mean, let's just, let's just get right into it because like the suspense is killing me. Okay, here we go. Alohomora. Okay, so as you can see inside, we got first and foremost some crinkly tissue paper. Now these um, are house specific items in some of these boxes. So my tissue paper is green um, because I'm a Slytherin. So I can do a quick little like, little whoop. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> quick little preview, but actually because I really just want to experience this box with you guys without any spoilers, I'm actually going to move it off camera um, a little bit so that way you can't see what's inside of it. I'm just going to probably push it up over there so we can kind of see a little bit more but like I said I really want to open these up with you guys so let's just get rid of the tissue paper don't need that and I'm gonna start with the wearable item because it's right up on the top so it looks like we have a t-shirt oh, this is so soft and it's gray I love gray t-shirts black t-shirts okay oh super super cute design okay let me see if I can get this in here so it says Sunshine Daisies Butter Mellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. And that says Ronald Weasley, age 11. This is so cute. I mean, Ron is not one of my favorite characters, but I think this design is adorable. And it's super understated. I really like it when my Harry Potter um, wearable items are a little minimalistic, um, a little, you know, like I said, it leaves a little bit, you know, it's not overtly like, oh my God, you know, like massive Harry Potter on my chest and I'm a little, I'm a little chesty. So it's nice to have minimal designs on here, but I think this is super cute, super fun. Let's see if there's anything on the back, nothing on the back, but this t-shirt is so soft. Like, I don't even know what it's made out of. Oh, it's only 85% cotton and 15% something else. And I don't know, it's in another language, but... <laughs> Um, like I said, this is a really cute design. This is so soft. I wish you guys could feel this. Um, but I'm really, this is, I'm, I'm happy so far. Even though Ron's not one of my favorite characters, this is a really, really cool shirt. So, yay. Oh, okay. I'm already excited. That's only the first item. As you can see, they kind of have these like crinkly little, um, instead of packaging peanuts, they use these little crinkle things, which are recyclable. They wrap a lot of their products in there too, which I think is great. Um, because it also saves the environment and blah, blah, blah. We don't care. Yeah, I know. We just want to get to it. Um, okay, so let's go with this. All of these boxes have two, um, or actually I think three now, reoccurring items. And one of them, let's take this off, are these um, Incendio candles. This one says Percy Weasley's Nerdy Bath. 
This is cute. A little prefix bathroom on the top. What does that say? I'm gonna have to get it closer because my eyes are pretty bad. Um, oh, actually this, instead of a candle, this box, they're bath salts. This is cool. I get it because it's nerdy bath. Duh, why would it be a candle? So let me let me see if I can open this and smell it. What does it smell like? Ooh. Oh, it's like, ooh, that is assaulting my nostrils. I was wondering what this was when I smelt it. So it's it's pretty, it's like orangish brown, just color. And it says the ingredients are dead sea salt, magnesium salt, natural orange oil, natural rosemary oil, and dried orange blossoms. So you can kind of see the little blossoms in here. It was the rosemary, which is what was catching me off guard first, but um, it's that is super cool, super flavorful. Like I said, usually they give you incendio candles, but which are vegan candles, which are nice. Um, but I like that this time we get bath salts, prefix bathroom. The packaging on all this stuff too is really detailed, really cool. Um, they put a lot of effort into these, so this is nice. I like this. All right, um, what else we got, what else we got? Uh, oh, I don't even know what to pick. Okay, here's another one that's wrapped, it's kind of cylindrical. I remember I had problems with that word last video. So I feel, I'm sensing a theme that I feel like this is gonna be a Weasley box. So let's just get rid of that. Hopefully my cats don't eat it. They like to eat all the little things in my house. All right, so it's a glass jar. They wrap these things really well so they don't break. Ooh, little feathers. Okay, what do we got? Eagle Owl Feathers, number 28. Okay, oh, this is pretty. Okay, so a lot of, I've seen a lot of these boxes have um, like little potion kit kind of things. Like um, I saw one that had squid ink, um, uh, uh, measle, um, porcupine needles. Oh my God, I'm totally blanking. <laughs> fail, Harry Potter fail. But I like this, this is pretty, it's a pretty just, it's a simple little jar, it's just got some feathers inside of it, a little cork on the top, I wonder if I can open it. Okay, I can't open it. Yeah, it's just little feathers inside of there, but um, I think this is gonna be really, really nice. Like I said, the packaging on it is pretty. Um, you guys will see next month probably because I'm obsessed with Halloween. Um, I tend to put my Halloween decorations up in September and then I don't take them down until like December. But I do, and I'll do a whole video on it too, but I do a whole, potions like apothecary setup in my house. I love potions. If I went to Hogwarts, potions would be my favorite subject, not just because I'm a Slytherin. I've always been obsessed with like mixing things since I was a kid. Um, but this will be really pretty with the rest of the potions because I do little bits and bobs, um, bottles and whatnot. So super cool. Let's get that out of the way. All right, I'm gonna do another little cylindrical one. These are packaged really well. So you know your your stuff is really secure in these boxes, which I like because I mean you pay a lot of money for them. You don't want them to break and everything is they used to come in these massive bubble wrap boxes I've seen, but okay, this might be a candle. Yes. Okay, so we did get a candle in this one. Oh, it's kind of opening. Okay. Ooh, let's put that back together. Okay. So you can see that they are incendio candles, handmade, hundred percent vegan. The flavor, flavor, you don't really eat these. Flavor this month is Fox the Phoenix. And it's orange. It's a really violent orange, kind of like Chudley Cannons and Ron's hair. Let's take a whiff. Ooh, it's, um, oh, what is that? Oh my God, I'm so bad with scents. Um, kind of like a, not a pumpkin-y, but like a fiery cinnamon-y kind of. I'll have to look at the little, um, uh, pamphlet explaining all the items to see if they give this the scent because it doesn't say yeah it doesn't say on it but again the packaging is so pretty um, incendio candles partners with the um, gobstone alley and they're in all the boxes I've seen so far so I'm actually excited that I got an incendio candle I'll probably light this up tonight that's pretty okay next um, let's dig around in here oh okay here's another item that they put in every box. They It's tea, um, it's dried tea, and it's Cozy Elves, Magical Drinks, and Sweets. So most boxes I've seen is tea. I've seen a couple of sweeties in some of the boxes, but um, like I said, they do these, these really nice teas, 
And I love drinking tea. I have a couple teacups that I like to use, but let's see. The flavor this month is Ginny Weasley's Orange Tea. And it says the ingredients are black tea with dry orange zest, orange blossom, and candied ginger aromas. Nice. I'm not going to open it, but let me give it a whip. Okay, I can kind of smell it through the package. It smells very orangey, you know, obviously. Ginny Weasley's orange tea, so. I don't want to open it now because I don't want it to, you know, spill or my cats are going to start playing with it, but that is super cool. So the tea um, and the candles are the things that I've seen on every single box. So I really like those. All right, what else we got? Ooh, oh, this is cute. What we got here? It's a, it's a little Dobby. I think this is a magnet. I'm going to take it out of the packaging. You guys can see it better. Oops, my kind of ripped the packaging. Oh well, whatever. All right, so ooh, it's very it's very sparkly and shiny, and it says Dobby has no master. Dobby is a free elf. Oh, how cute! And it's a magnet, so you can put it on your fridge or locker if you're in in school. You know your little bulletin board on your desk. I like to put my magnets on my work desk because there's a magnet board there. So. This is really cute. Um, it's not too heavy, so it's not gonna you know fall down or anything. Um, probably wouldn't hold up a lot of pictures, but maybe like one or two. But it's super. Oh, you can see my lights glaring in there. It's super, um, super sparkly. So I like that. Oh, Dobby. <laughs> oh, too soon. Too soon. Oh, so sad. Okay. Um, let's get this. This was actually one of the first things that popped into me, into my, into me, into my face when I first opened the box. So we have a platform nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express bank. Oh, cute. Okay, it says saving for the trolley. Hogwarts Express, saving for the trolley. This is pretty. Okay, this looks like a licensed item, but it's just like a little bank and then there's, um, I'm sure you can take that sticker off and there's like the thing that um, you can put get your money out. Super cute. We got a bank in my last Loot Crate box. It was a Niffler. Um, but I like this. I don't know if I would use it as a bank because it's, it's, um, you know, it's, it's metal. <laughs> um, so it make a lot of noise, but I think this is cute. I would still, you know, put this up as like a little decoration. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> and honestly, every, ever since I've read, uh, Cursed Child, which, oof, can't even, can't even get into that. <laughs> but now when I, when I think of the Hogwarts Express and like, any food from the trolley, dear? It's like that crazy lady who, you know, spoiler if you haven't read Cursed Child, but it gets weird <laughs> with the trolley lady and the sweetie lady on the Hogwarts Express. So, okay, and yet, oh my god, you guys, there's still so much more in this box that I can't even, oh, there's so much stuff, so much stuff. All right, what is this? Um, okay, here's another item that comes in every box. And the first time I watched these unboxing videos, I saw someone open these and I'm like, oh my God, that looks so familiar. And I'm, maybe you'll think it's familiar too. But these are the very first set, you know, the, the Harry Potter trading card game that came out like forever ago. Like right when, you know, Chamber of Secrets and Sorcerer's Stone first came out in the US, they were making all sorts of product and they made these trading card games. And I actually remember, I have a bunch of these cards somewhere. I got them in my Christmas stocking um, like every year when I was a kid. So I have to find them. So let's see what I got. So I got Teacup to Rat, which is a spell. I have an Adventure, which is locked in. Um, a spell, which just says Injured. Looks like it's Quidditch. Um, Leaping Toadstools, which is a creature. Um, Mid-Air Collision, which is a spell. And then I have two lessons. I have Care of Magical Creatures and Transfiguration. So I have to pull out my old trading cards and figure out where they went because I remember this, this game, playing this game. And like, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know if I ever really learned how to play it, but I had a lot of these trading cards. And actually, I wonder, it should be right here, but um, I can't reach. Ignore the sounds coming from the other room. Um, I remember this card game I had a long, long time ago. It's actually like a card game, kind of like um, magic cards <laughs> or whatnot. Um, it was Gryffindor versus Slytherin, of course, and let me just pull out a couple of these. And it's kind of the same thing, you know, but it was all Quidditch themed. So you had like Jinxes, 
I'm trying not to get the glare off of here. You know, different positions, chaser, seeker, everything like that. You know, different like foul cards, the pitch card, quaffle, everything like that. I have no idea how to play this anymore, but I loved playing it as a kid, I remember. But it just kind of reminds me of the cards that you get in these gobstone boxes and like how all these old stuff, they don't even print these cards anymore. So the fact that we get them, I think is really cool to just, you know, kind of keep it all all coming back 20 years later it's still cool we still have it and we still have more stuff in this box okay I see a little pen let's take it out of the package this is a licensed product and it says free the house elves and it's a little badge looks like there was a sticker on it there's a little bit of gunky oh no it's not gunky <laughs> it's Dobby it's just really really close um there oh that's super cute okay so this is free the house elves it's a little badge singular pin again this is a licensed item um that's another thing i really love about gobstone alley boxes is that it's a mixture of handmade items licensed products everything's super unique everything's really cool this box it really you get your bang for your buck or your you hoo for your euro i don't know <laughs> That's, that one didn't work, but I really, really like these boxes, and actually, there's this, but there's nothing in it, so I wonder if it fell out in the box and the packaging, or maybe the pin, maybe the pin was inside this little bag, but I don't know where that goes, so it's going over there now. Ooh, we get a chocolate frog card. This is so pretty. All right, so not jizzed on the, jizzed, wow, oh god. <laughs> Sorry, not jazzed on who's on my card, but I have Gellert Grindelwald, and that'd be cool if it was like um, an illustration or whatnot, but it's Johnny Depp as Grindelwald, and I don't know, he's kind of weird, so um, these are like a smooth, kind of glossy paper product, um, and it just gives you a little rundown of, you know, like what's you know, kind of like a bio. Usually they come in chocolate frog boxes. These aren't the official ones from um, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Orlando in Universal Studios, but still cool. I only have a couple of them because, again, I've only been down to Florida once to the park, so I need to get my collection up on that, but still a cool, unique item. And yes, there's more. Okay. Oh, oh box is falling over. And then I hit my camera and everything went crazy. Okay, my bad for everyone who just had like a freak out on the camera. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just super excited. I'm gonna treat, see if I can find that little thing, if anything was in that little bag. It doesn't appear like that is the case, but we have a purple Ministry of Magic envelope. So let's see, let me see if I can get it open without ripping that sticker. Come on, buddy, work with me. Yes. All right, what do we got in here? Ooh, it's very, very thick. These are like the purple memos that they see zooming all over the place at the ministry. Um, of course, that one doesn't fly, but you know, whatever. So it is a Ministry of Magic, Department of Magical Education. Oh, they're owl results. How fun. Now, they don't have a name on them, but looking at the scores i can tell you this is not harry potter <laughs> it is uh not hermione and it's not ron <laughs> so i think it's just random and there's only one of them this is it's really thick almost plasticky kind of paper but there's a spot you can put your own name in there um let's see here what else we got defense against dark arts charms potions pretty much this person did pretty well except divination which Honestly, who cares about that? Um, but it's signed by Grizzilda March Banks at the bottom. I gotta stop hitting my camera. I'm so sorry, guys. This is freak. I'm freaking out. Camera's freaking out. So much stuff going on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep hitting it. But um, this is this is cool. This is pretty. It's, I like that they do these kinds of um, paper products, replicas, and whatnot. So very cool. I took the owls on Muggle Nets. I think did a whole thing and I got of course I got outstandings on all of my exams except I got exceeds expectations in astronomy transfiguration and I want to say ancient runes because I took like all the classes not just like the cores but I took 
care of magical creatures, divination, um, ancient runes, arithmancy, muggle studies, all of them. So, all right, a couple last little things in here. We got a very big, very loud Weasley's Wizard Wheezes pamphlet. This looks like um, like an ad advertisement that they would put. Let me see if I can turn it sideways so you guys can see it. You know, like in the Daily Prophet. So we got Dung Bombs, freshly delivered every third Friday. Weasley and Weasley. We got Weasley's famous unlucky dip. I don't know what that is. Always a startling success. Dip. I don't know. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> um, and then the Skyving Sack Snack Boxes, which everyone knows. Fever Fudge, Fainting Fancies, Puking Pastilles, and Nosebleed Nougat. Um, very cool. Oh, I was looking at the camera. I'm like, why is that backwards? But they actually print them forwards and backwards. So, oh, and then more stuff. Just kind of listing all their products. Um, you know, they started when the sixth movie came around, and actually even before then, um, the fifth and whatnot. Mina Lima started designing a lot of the props and the products for the Harry Potter movies. So, they were meant to be very loud, very clashing in style. Um, this is made out of again the same kind of material that the letter was made out of. And the card actually it's like a very smooth glossy it's it's paper but it feels almost like plastic so again really good quality on all of these products and it looks like this one was actually designed by muggle magic so that's a cool thing to look at so yeah this is definitely a weasley box this month <laughs> which i'm totally fine with because you know whatever okay it looks like there is only one thing left in this box. Let me just double check everything. Looks good. And I saved it for last because dun, 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 I am pretty sure this is a wand. And I'm super pumped about it. Let me see if I can get this sticker off this one too. Oh good. Let me just put that here for now. So it's a Weasley themed box. So this is <laughs> odds are this is gonna be a Weasley wand. The only full-size replica wand got this packaging all over the place that I have is Hermione's she's my favorite character so let's see, let me let me take a feel um let's see it doesn't feel like wands might be I don't know I don't know I don't know the Weasley wands as well so I might have to consult my wand book so what do we got oh mm. Okay, that makes zero sense. <laughs> it's Dumbledore's wand. That makes no sense. Why would I have a Weasley box and then I would have Dumbledore's wand? That's very strange. Hmm. Well, now I have the Elder Wand. <laughs> and these are a little bit different from some of the official wands that I've seen. Um, let me see if there's anything on here about who made it. There is not. Yeah, the color is a little bit different than the ones I normally have seen. It's a really good size. Like, let me doubt I can get my entire arm in this shot but anyway it's pretty much the size of my forearm from the crook of my elbow almost to the tops of my fingertips but good weight to the wand um, rather pliable as they would say about Draco's wand but um, you know it's I'm, I'm just getting a little confused why I got Dumbledore's wand in a Weasley box but you know I'm not mad about it I'll, I'll start collecting wands um, if people are gonna give them to me so <laughs> Yeah, not a bad idea. So that looks like that's it for the box, except there's this. Oh, okay, so this is a little sheet that they give you to tell you about what's in the box. So they had July's flying parcel, a t shirt, the little bank, the bath salts, candle, pin, the magnet, the elder wand for unknown reasons, the Weasley's Wizard Weezes brochure. An owl certificate, the cards, chocolate frog card, the cozy owl's tea, and the equal owl feathers. So, oh, it's okay. Yeah. So this comes in every box just to explain to you, you know, what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. The candle is Oriental scents. I don't know what that means, but it smells good. So we're gonna light that baby up later. So, like I said, the haul here is incredible you get so much stuff I mean overall the value of this box is really really good I think I think it is really good um, I can't remember how much I paid for it 
because I was like, I don't care about the cost because I really, really, really want this box now that I've seen like every, all these unboxing videos. So, um, but I'll leave all the pricing info below to check it out. Um, if you want to subscribe to the box, it is a monthly subscription. Um, and you can either do, it's, it's like one box at a time. Um, but the shipping costs, you can bundle it depending on how many boxes you get. Um, but it's basically every month that, you know, just see what you want. Clearly there's a theme here, uh, minus the wand, but, um, I'm not sure if they announced the themes ahead of time. Maybe they do and I just don't see it, but, um, you can follow them on Instagram and you know, they'll, they sometimes post spoilers and whatnot. So the boxes, so I've already ordered August box. I took a chance because the deadline for the August box was before I got this box. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I want to look at it before I get it, but I was like, you know what? I can't. Um, so I ordered the August box anyway, and I'm super glad. I'm probably going to keep this subscription um, because, I mean, I mean, look at that. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 items. I'm going to hit my camera again. 13 items in this box, um, and they come every month. So, like I said, this is, um, I think it is well worth the cost, and you get such a variety of products. They do specialized boxes, too. Um, I just, I think this is really, really well done. Um, so Bueno, Gobstone Alley, comment down below guys, like my video and subscribe if you want, if you like my nerdness and you want to join in the fun, let me know what your favorite item is in this box. If you are thinking about getting this box and you're not sure, I super recommend it. I mean, I cannot say enough great things about this box. I'm so excited. Rushed home from work. This is the first thing I've done. I haven't pet my cats. I haven't fed the cats. I haven't checked the mail. I mean, I went straight to filming this video because I am just, I'm so excited about this parcel. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like. Any questions, I'm happy to help spread the love of the Gobstone Alley box. So thanks for watching guys. And always remember, don't let the muggles get you down.